All right, this video is going to be a little bit different, and yes, I'm still sick, unfortunately, getting worse, but doesn't matter. So we're going to actually be doing some shad fishing. Yes, shad fishing. It's like we get these massive gizzards that come up the river, not like this, they're like, like really big. Hopefully we can get some today and show you how big they are. They are abnormally big gizzard shad, and we are going to be putting a few of them in the pond just just because just put them in the pond this is the first pond video of 2018 I posted one in 2018 but I filmed that way before like I said we let our pond rest for a little bit but this is gonna be the first official pond stocking video of 2018 let's go catch some fish just made it down to the river Luke's showing me where they all supposedly are they've been here for a little bit now hopefully they're still here but what I got going on here is I just got a jig head on the bottom to help keep this one down then I got a little hair jig on the top just for them to entice it to eat it I don't have a trailer for the bottom jig so it's just bare how deep is it got him Oh, it came off. I might have had one. I'm not sure. Can't tell if I'm missing them or getting rocks. That was a rock. Got him. Looks hooked up all the way on the other side. Yeah, I should have went over there. Is it a nice one? It's a little guy. Well, first one of the day. So that means that probably was one that I missed. Well, Luke got the first one of the day on the fly rod. Luke likes to do the fly rod. I'm just trying to test out this six skill rod right here. That's, I still haven't caught a fish on this rod yet. That's a small one though. How deep is it there? Oh crap. Yeah, it's in my pocket. Fill up that cooler. It's been a while. There's the first fish of the day. Little shad. Little dude. Luke's filling up the cooler. Got the aerator. It is. Let's keep a few. I don't think we should keep a lot. There we go. First one of the day. We'll probably have to set this down here. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah. Aerator's on. There we go. First fish of the day a little one that's tiny compared to what they usually are down here we've caught some monsters out of here but let's go get another fish luke's hooked up down there luke's got another one down there little shad second one of the day we're still struggling to find them but luke says he just found them so hopefully we can end up catching a few more got them oh my gosh it's about time too it's been such a long time since we've caught a fish well luke's caught a fish can't even cast till he gets that one in i haven't even been getting close catching that's a nicer one. Oh, he's fighting there we go like i said it's been such a long time since we've actually got a fish you let in so i can cast that's a nice one he ate it there we go that's a nicer shad right there that's about the size that should be about the average size that we get that was a hit but i just can't get one for some reason for some reason i can't catch one i'll meet you over there so then we can see the fish all right let's see it before you put it in the cooler let's see it let's see it yeah, I see your rod. All right, there we go. Nicest shot of the day. We got two of them in there. They're both doing fine in the aerator. Yeah, they're actually, it's pretty, I didn't expect that. Yeah, there we go. That's what we got so far. Readers. We should be catching more though. No, but they're not really here. They're not really here. They either left or they're not here yet. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, we're gonna, I forgot, we're gonna throw the cast net as well. I also forgot to add, we're also gonna throw the cast net as well up over there just to get a few because it's legal in North Carolina to catch bait. Shad's technically a bait fish, so we're all legal. I'm pulling something off. Not gonna make it past that current, but what the heck is this? I literally think it's a boot. It's a crab trap. Oh my God! One of those. Oh well, well this is the start of a new series. Hey, do you want that? Yes, I'm keeping this. This is a good find right hey, here. Good. All right, good, good catch, I guess. Oh my gosh, there's a crayfish in it. There's a crayfish in it. No way. Yeah, there we go. There's one in it right there. Oh my gosh. Well, that's a great find right there. Well, let's take a look at this. Well, it looks like it's zip tied shut, and it's just this has been in there for such a long time. That's why I'm not catching any fish. That is why I'm not catching any fish. I don't have a hook on the first one and the hook is bent straight out on the second one. That is why I am not catching any fish. There's no hook on this one right here. You guys can't see anything. There's no hook on this one right here. And this one's bent straight out. That is why I'm not catching anything. We'll let this guy go. Where the heck did he go? Oh, he's right there. We'll open this and let him free because there's not much I'm gonna do with him. Well, he's right there. Let me get this guy in the water. I saved your life, little buddy. Let's get you in the water. Little dude, I saved you. Wait, should we put him in our pond? Luke, should we put him in our pond? <laughs> yeah, why not? Okay, let's get a crayfish in our pond. Why not? Let's get a little crayfish in our pond. There we go. Let's get him in there. Good food for some bass. Because we only got about like... I got one! 
Ah! Where'd you get him? I don't even know, but I got one. Oh, he just ran into a rock. I want to fight bottom. you. What are you doing? I want to fight him more. Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go, guys. My first... My first fish on this rod is a There's shed. There's not even anything on the... <laughs> you caught him on the <coughs> hook. I caught him on the bear hook. Look at this. There we go. Oh, let's get up here. There we go. Oh, we got snagged in the back, but whatever. Let's see how the crawfish is doing in there, too. First fish. There we go. Took me a long time to get a first fish. And these things are basically impossible to grab. Simple on a hook, just like that. In the cooler he goes. There's that crawfish in that corner right there. He's doing good. Close this up. Get ready. Let's get another fish. Got another one? There you go. Luke's hooked up. He's got a decent one too. There we go. Now we're starting to get on him a little bit. Wow, it's taking drag. That's a nice one. Wow, nice one. I don't know. We should be catching one. That's a big one. It looked like it from the way it flashed over here. That's a nice one. There we go. A little guy right there. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Now hopefully I can get another one here. Caught one today. Luke's caught like three or four. Not a bad one though. Oh, I got one. I got one. We both got him. Do we have, do we have this, do we have the same fish? We got the same fish. Oh my gosh, dude, look at this. We got the same fish. Oh my gosh, look at this. They're both on the thing. Yes, we both hooked the same fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well that's, that's something different. I've only had that happen a few times. Look at that. <laughs> well, there's his, and then we'll bring it over here. That's crazy. I've never had that happen to you. <laughs> Actually, yeah, I have. I had it happen once, but it wasn't my hook and line. That's crazy. Both caught the same fish. Well, that means we were probably both in, like, the same general area. Both caught the same fish. I got him in the back, and he got him farther back in the back. Yeah. It, uh, there we go. That's what we got so far. Let's throw the net. All right, guys. Well, we're done with the fishing part, actually. So now we're going to bring... Well, we're going to keep the cooler down here, but we're going to go up, drop my rod off, drop his fly rod off, and we are going to grab the cast net and catch a few more shad so we can put them in the pond and just... So when we get do get big bass in the pond, they'll have something big to eat. You just walk over here. You can just smell. Yeah, they're, they're probably they're really up here. packed in here, which I don't, know, I don't think they're going to be. But if they really are, you should, you should catch them on the rod real. Yeah, it definitely smells like, it smells fishy up here. Getting all ready for our first throw. Hopefully we'll catch a lot of shad or just something cool for the video. I don't know if we're really going to keep any because we did get a lot of shad and no, stuff. We'll, keep them. well, we'll just have to see. We'll see how many we can get. But we, we do have quite a bit in the cooler. We got about like six or seven. But the water level did go back up to its normal height. It has been low for a while now. And here we yeah, go with the first throw. There we go. That was like a heart. <laughs> Dude, if this rail weren't here, I'd be able to do so much better. It just like stretches and then pulls itself back down and closes. Nothing? Wow. Not even a bluegill. Not even a bluegill. That's crazy. All right, cast number two. We didn't get anything on the first cast. Hopefully, we can get something on this cast. Let it go all the way. There we go. All right, hopefully we got at least a bluegill or something. Nothing again. Wow. Nothing over here. We are about to go stock the fish in the pond. That's what we got so far. So we're going to head there now and we'll see when we get there. First guy in the pond. All right. All right, let's start stocking these things. Now. See ya. All right, let's do them one at a time. No, we can't because they have to stay in a school. Oh, yeah. So you got to release them all at once. We should, um, what is it? Put some of that water in here. Yeah, acclimate them. That's not yeah, a bad idea. Yeah, acclimate them. Do you, well, want, do you want me to go grab the cast net bucket? 
Oh, the water's the exact same. Exact same. We don't need to acclimate them. All right. Here we go. We gotta release these all at once, so then they'll stay in the school. We do have a few gizzards in here right now, but they're not. They're not this big. These are probably all the gizzards we're putting in here. Oh, break! What? what? I forgot a thumbnail. Oh no. Oh no. That's right, well, I'll good. just grab one real quick. Right. I'll grab this one. And get a picture of me holding them. All right, whatever. I think we're good. Just put them in the water. Okay, I'll take a screenshot. All right. All right. Let them go. There we go. Well, forgot a thumbnail, so we'll have to make do with what we got. Oh well. Yeah, they all swim off. There, there we go. First pond stocking video of 2018. Pretty good. Pond's all back to normal, but that was all in my video from yesterday. Pond's back to normal right here. There's got to be so many crappie and bass on, I don't know if you guys can see it, kind of blends in, but there's like trees right there. And we are going to be putting some Christmas trees. We also got to look where we're going to put them. I think we should put them like down there because we really don't have that much structure so in that area. Are we area. going to take the kayak but, out? Yeah, like straight down the middle. I think we should put a few, but that's it for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. If you're new to my channel, you're going to want to get subscribed because we've got a ton of amazing content coming your way and you're not going to want to miss it. So thanks for watching. Sorry for the outro on the GoPro, but see ya.